guys, it's me Jess and welcome back to another video. So in today's video I thought I'd just do the furry friend tag. So I've just loaded up the questions on my laptop. So I guess we should just get started straight into it. Question number one, what is your pet's name? My pet's name is Harry. Is it asleep before we live? Number two, how did you come up with your pet's name? Does it have any specific significance? <sighs> to a degree. My mum came up with the name and she named it Harry because we was all really into Harry Potter at the time, so Harry Potter, Harry, you know. Three, how old is your pet? We've had him since he was a baby, so probably about six, seven years old now. Um, when did you get your pet? About six, seven years ago. I remember I've just finished year 10 in school now and I was in year five, six-ish when we got him. So yeah. Um, number five, what breed is your pet? Harry is a Shih Tzu cross Maltese, so he's a mushy. Six, how old were you when you got your pet? Oh jeez, how old are how old are you in year five six at school? Ten eleven, I'm gonna say. That might be wrong. I'm sorry if it is. But. Number seven. How did you get your pets? Well, we was at school. We got home, and Mum was like signed this piece of paper that basically said if we got a dog, then you know you had to clean up its poo, bath it, feed it, walk it every day, and all that stuff. So she made us sign this thing and then she took us into like the back, I don't know what it's called, we've got like the kitchen and then there's like another room at the back, it's just has like cupboards and stuff in there and he was sitting in the back in like a little dog bed, this tiny dog bed, full of teddies and we all thought that he was a teddy because he was so small and stuff until he got up and he was like literally asleep there, like he didn't even know, he was like, and there's people just walked into the house, I don't care, I'm sleeping. Not much has changed. What's your fa your pet's favourite food? Oh, I don't know what they're called, but they're kind of like sausages. You can get them from like really cheap shops, Poundland, Home Bargains, all that lot. And they're just really long sausages and they're all attached together and he loves them. Number nine, what is your pet's favourite game? To be honest with ya, he doesn't really play games. I guess he likes to play football a bit. Like if you kick him around the ball, he's going to chase after it and try and stop it. But I guess that's all he plays. He, when he plays fetch, he... 50% of the time he'll bring back the ball. Other 50% he just can't be asked. So yeah. Number 10. What is your favourite thing to do together? I like it when he just comes up to the bed and just falls asleep. And I'm here like, hi, I'm sleeping. Thank you for not waking me up. Because most dogs will come up and like lick your face or something and just wake you up. And he just comes up, lays down goes, but is that a spider? No, it's not a spider. Yeah. Number 11, do you go outdoors? If yes, where's your pet's favourite place to go? Yes, we do go outdoors. And I'm going to tell you this little story. Really is up. Basically, I was taking him for walks. And he got used to the term walkies. Kind of thinking that now. Continue. So I changed it to pub. So basically, we could get home, be like, you can have a friend over, whatever, and be like, Oi, Harry, do you want to go to the pub? And then he gets all excited and stuff. What is a bad habit that your pet has? Probably, you know, walking situation. If he doesn't want to walk there, he ain't going. He's going to drag you home. Might be small, but like, he will sit there until you start walking home. He will not walk anymore if you try and take him to a place he don't want to go. Number 13, what's the best thing about your pet? Thing about your pet has what does that mean English so it means what's the best thing about your pet I actually enjoy how lazy he is I know that's probably like but it's chill having a lazy dog he doesn't want to do a whole lot he does this all day doesn't rip well he barks sometimes but he doesn't really like run around barking and stuff pretty chill. Question number 14. What is the naughtiest thing your pet has ever done? He's not really a naughty dog. I think probably chewed off a few toys, uh, pooed somewhere where he shouldn't, like pooed in the house or weed in the house. That's about it. He doesn't really do naughty stuff. Question number 15. What is the funniest memory involving your pet? A funny thing. 
is when we go out for walks he enjoys barking at other dogs a lot so when we walk past someone that we see roughly every day because we tend to go at the same time they will now just like there's a few of them that just walk past us and they will just start smiling because they know that he's going to start barking so that's probably one of the funniest things he doesn't really do much funny things because he's only just asleep so what's the hardest thing about being a pet owner well, he doesn't do anything, so nothing. What's the most broader thing about being a pet owner? I don't know, he's got this funny smile. He's looking at me like, let me go to sleep. He's got a funny smile, you know where the teeth come out like, mm, yeah, I like that. <laughs> Does your pet have any nicknames and what are they? Yes. We call him Ratty. I've forgotten what his nickname is. Ratty, Rat Face, stuff like that long story behind that one have you ever thought, taught your pet any tricks if so what yeah he knows like the basic tricks like sit lay down stuff like that paw touch stuff he can close the cupboard doors roll over i was trying to teach him to beg not long ago i don't know if i said forgot it again but yeah if you like this video then please make sure you give it a thumbs up let's see if he's gonna get up can you come and give me a cuddle? Oh. Yeah, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Go and check out some of my other videos if you like. You don't have to. But yeah. Bye! Ah!